everyone so I wanted to show you my Friday project I was watching Angela Holt I don't know if you guys um, have seen her on Facebook but if you have I mean on YouTube if you haven't she does awesome stuff like really awesome and she recently did a tutorial for I'm sorry if I say this wrong but for Finnebear I believe it is it's um, F I N N A B A I R I believe is her is her name or what she goes by and she does like a mixed media I'm gonna say more um steampunk but it's really nice and I've I've seen a lot of her work and I was like oh wow that's so beautiful and then Angela did a tutorial and it was more more geared towards flowers and more my kind of stuff. So I took her Angela Holt's tutorial and I created the head this uh headpiece. This is just a vintage lady from Google. If you guys just Google up a uh, vintage lady or vintage woman, you'll get a whole bunch of pictures. And I just printed it out and I cut her off, cut her out. Um so what I have in here is Wild Orchid Craft Roses, some um recollections uh flowers you can see it right there some buttons i have uh um what is this blue blue landing bead landing butterfly uh, uh more wilder craft roses flowers more from the bead landing section more of the metals some hat pins that my best friend uh, gave to me for my birthday um, I included them in there. This is also from my best friend. She had like a piece of jewelry uh, bracelet and it broke and she gave me part of it and I use it in my project. So um, again more buttons. That's a button. More flowers. It's a mix of metal and flower. That's basically all this head, um, head piece is. And at the bottom of the head piece I use lace. So you can see right there. And then on my actual canvas, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. For her necklace, she had a pearl necklace. I used that um, bling, the aqua bling that they sell at, you know, anywhere. I got it from Michael's actually. And I just cut up a strip and I put it down. And then for her dress, I just used um, some tool, some white tool. And then I painted it a little bit in blue so it can go with my um, background. I have some Recollections Pearls and then my actual background has a lot of, I mean like, I kind of just threw all this together right now. It has, um, this is Tim Holtz uh, stencil, it has graphic 45 paper, you can see it there, it's a botanical tea. It has some vintage lace, some Prima butterflies, wood butterflies. Um, it also has the Prima, uh, not Prima, Crafter's Companion, or I forgot what it is, um, uh, Chicken Wire? I don't know. And another Tim Holtz uh, thing, which was Burlap. I think that's Burlap there. Um, so, it, and then uh, the Prima Love, the Love Phrase with more lace and stuff in the back. And the colors that I have for this are... I used a lot of Lindsay Stamp Gang and I used Alpine Ice Rose. I also used Baby Blue Eyes Aqua. But to get it to that, you know, mix some turquoise in there, I used Dilutions um, Turquoise. And then I also used, uh, my best friend gave me this and I didn't know what it did, so I kind of sprayed it everywhere to see what it would do. All this it gives it a slight texture, but you really can't see unless you're looking at it. But yes, yeah, so this is my project, um, my altered mixed media, whatever you want to call it, Angela Holt inspired canvas. Thanks for watching, guys.